Hey guys, so today is going to be a Dollar Tree haul and I have about four bags here worth of stuff that I don't really know that I needed. I went shopping with my grandma the other day and I just kind of stuffed things in my basket at the time and purchased it. Doesn't that happen to all of us when we're at Dollar Tree? But I found some really good things I feel like so I thought I would share them with you guys. So first things first, you guys know I could not go in there without getting a couple of things for my planner. I picked up two things of stickers, nope three things of stickers, two of these alphabet stickers. Um, it comes with 370 of them and I got the ones in this like royal blue and silver. I thought that this would be really pretty for January's colors which January's colors in the Erin Condren are not blue and silver but I thought it would be pretty for like a winter theme so I got those and then the other stickers that I picked up were birthday little decals and they're not 3D but they're a little bit bigger than like a typical flat sticker and um, they just have different colors blue and pink birthday stickers only a dollar and they have some glitter on them I really like that I think those were the only things that I picked up from the like stationary section I did pick up two sets of blades these are actually called utility knives and the one thing that I liked about these is they kind of have a it shows you at the at the um, on the back of it they're utility knives but they have this like thing that you can push another blade in there so I don't know how well you guys can tell the blades are perforated so every time your blade starts to get dull you just kind of chip that blade off and go to the next one. It's kind of like those push-up erasers that you used to have back in the day. Um, same idea, a three for a dollar. I thought this would be great to cut washi tape. I saw somebody using an X-Acto knife in a video I was watching, and I was like, that is genius. So instead of ruining an X-Acto knife, I thought these were a good idea to get. And then I got um, just a regular safety scraper with blades and it comes it's a safety scraper and it comes with fl uh, five blades and I got this from the desk because he we have a glass a glass top um, stove and he likes to scrape off things with this last for that bag is some <laughs> reusable gloves and I picked up these in a size large and I got the pink ones I actually really like using these for anything whether it be you know if you're if you're a mom and you do a lot of dishes or you're cleaning sinks or toilets or whatever it's really nice to use gloves instead of using just your regular hands because it's nasty and especially if you like to have your nails done or you just got a manicure you want to be able to protect your nails and your manicure without interfering with your ability to clean so these fit perfectly and they will will work well for me with whatever I am going to do. Now obviously if I use these for the toilet, I won't be washing dishes with them, but for a dollar you definitely could pick up multiple pairs. Next bag is some of their Christmas stuff and I just, this is all that I picked up from there as far as their Christmas stuff goes and glitter is everywhere. But I did this for fall. This is a really inexpensive way to kind of jazz up a decorative um, aspect of your table, whether it be in a vase or you know on an side table, couch table, whatever the case may be in your kitchen. Just a great way to kind of decorate a little bit without spending too much money. So these are all fake flowers. I have five of them so it cost me five dollars. Um, Dollar Tree also sells vases for one dollar so good deal. I have one downstairs that I'm going to be putting these in. I picked up a couple of bushes that have some pine cones with glitter and some fake leaves so I picked up two of those. These have little berries attached to them. And then I picked up two sets of the poinsettias in red. And then one set of this just, it's called a holly bouquet, but they're gold. So I thought this would kind of work well together to be just like this. And I could kind of spread this out a little bit like that and put it, which is shedding glitter everywhere, but put it in my vase in the center of my table just like I did my fall decorations and it would look really pretty. Next bag, I have lots of stuff in this one, lots of things that I was super excited about. So, oh, I did pick up a couple of packs of pins. So these are the um, R2 ink roller pins. I got them in blue and in black. I use these to pay bills, so I use the light blue one and the pink one to pay credit cards and stuff, and then I use the basic black one just for day to day so I picked up some more of those. I saw this pack on someone's channel. I'm not sure where. Maybe do it on a dime? I don't know but I picked up two of these round cake pans 
and they were each a dollar and I'm sure they'd be great to bake and stuff with but that's not what I bought them for. I bought a pack of clear marbles and I plan on putting the marbles in here and layering these and then creating a lazy Susan just like that. Great hack for three bucks and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet but I'm kind of contemplating. I don't know if I should do something with crafts or if I should legit make it a lazy Susan and put my spices and stuff on it downstairs. No clue, but I thought I would pick it up just in case. I also picked up this cutting board. You can find so many cool things in the kitchen area of Dollar Tree. It's amazing to me. A dollar, and it's just a little like cheapy cut cutting board, but we had these like really thin cutting boards. I actually think I picked one up that um, we would cut right through, so this one is a little more heavy duty to cut small things. It doesn't have to be like meat or anything like that, but you can definitely cut fruits and things on this. I also picked up this in the kitchen area, which I'm sad I should have picked up a couple more. I'm really excited to put my dip in here. I cooked this dip for a Christmas party we went to a couple of weeks ago. I really would have liked to have this dish for it. This could be anything. It says it's just a container with a lid and it holds 6.625 um, cups. 53 fluid ounces so you could put anything but I think this would be like a great presentation to put any sort of dip or you know like fruit or Chex Mix or whatever you want to put in it and it has a lid for convenience so I thought that was cool for a dollar you cannot beat that. Picked up a couple things for the girls. Another pack of these headbands in the like pastel colors. Emmy has these. It comes with six of them for a dollar. She has these in the brighter colors, but I really like these are pastel, so those will work great for the springtime. And then I picked her up a 2016 12-month frozen calendar. She's been really into learning the date. Like she knows what date it is every day, what year we're in, and what day of the week it is, and everything. So I really thought it would be cool for her to have this up and her room it has a bunch of different um, characters like scenes on the back and then it has um, 12 months so I thought that was really cool she's gonna be super excited for this and the last bag from Dollar Tree oh I forgot about this this little cute guy is a reusable cold pack and I think I saw this on do it on a dime as well that girl loves Dollar Tree I got so many good ideas from her he is a panda bear and you can pop him in the freezer or in the refrigerator just to keep him cold. If you put him in the freezer then obviously he's going to be frozen and what she used these for was she got a bunch of them and put them in her kids lunches at school to kind of use as like an ice pack and I thought that was a brilliant idea but you can also use it to like soothe a headache or you know bumps and bruises stuff like that and the fact that it's the shape of a panda I thought that was really cute. They had more um, shapes and stuff I should have picked up. I picked up these microwave cooking cups because it is so annoying when you're trying to cook something in the microwave and our microwave seems to be like a thousand degrees at all times because everything seems to pop in the microwave so this is cool because you just set it over whatever you're heating up and it's microwave safe and it is supposed to not have things explode in your microwave and you get two of them for a dollar oh I picked up another set of stickers I didn't even remember this one it's the same idea it's like a thin 3d and these are butterflies and roses so I thought those were really pretty and this is a chopping mat that I was talking about there's two of them they're really like soft and flexible again I wouldn't really cut meat or anything on here but you could definitely cut vegetables fruits you know stuff like that I've even seen uh, people use these for crafts you know, like if you're going to use your X-Acto knife or whatever the case may be, you lay this down before you cut through and then that way you don't cut through to your table and whatnot. And again, for a dollar, you cannot beat it. And then the last thing that I picked up I saw on Pinterest, I think, or somewhere, it is actually a silicone glove. And what these are for is to, like you could use two of them and you could pick up a hot pot or a hot plate or anything without burning yourself. But what I saw this used for was a brush cleanser. So you know how Sigma sells their, um, like, what is it called, spa glove or something that you put on your hand and then you can wash your brushes in it and all that. This actually has grippers, so I don't know that you'll be able to tell. It has different textures here and here, and then on the inside here it has a different texture. For what reason, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know how that pertains to grabbing something hot. I don't really know, especially the one in here, but whatever. But I 
I am going to try to wash my brushes with this and see if it works because for a dollar you could get a couple of them and kind of you know work in multiple brushes at once so good deal all right guys so that was the end of my Dollar Tree haul I hope that you all enjoyed it let me know some of the things that you guys like getting at Dollar Tree I'm very curious to know I find myself in Dollar Tree and Target way too often and I need some more suggestions on things that I should be getting so anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought and I will see you in my next one bye